Hello and welcome to the show. Today I am playing Automation, the car company tycoon game. This game hates me and I don't know why. I don't know what I did to it, but it really doesn't like me. I was recommended this game of, in fact, probably even a few months ago and I tried to do a video on it then. I tried about five times. Every single time something went wrong. The game froze, the recording froze, something broke every single time. And it eventually got to the point where I've got fed up. And I've tried occasionally in between and it would never work. I'm hoping this time, fingers crossed, it might hold together for 20 minutes so I can make a video out of it. Um, anyway, yes, this is this is currently in Alpha or Beta or one of them, I don't remember. Uh, so it's still very much under development. The, the single player campaign uh, isn't working at the moment. Multiplayer is working, but I'm terrible and haven't played this game for months, well, weeks, so I'm not going to do any multiplayer. I'm just going to go to the sandbox to start with uh, and show you what this game is all about. It is basically about building cars and building engines, which is which is very good. I shall now show you the car builder. Now, when this game is finished, I presume, although I do not know, there's going to be an, like a, I don't want to say quite a strategy game, but uh, yeah, the single player is going to start off in whatever year and you're going to have to build cars and try and keep your company going. It's a tycoon game, basically. And ooh, there's a light fitting in the way. Um, and I presume you'll be able to choose. You go for sports cars, uh, try and sell them like for, uh, for more money, but you won't sell as many. Um, engines as well, do you go for more economy? You will go for cheaper, sorry. And you, you kind of get the idea. It, if it all comes together, whenever that might be, it could be very, very interesting and very promising. Anyway, we're going to start with the, the um, car builder, the bodybuilding bit. Um, of the car, like the actual body shell. I'm guessing by the uh, the chassis button over here. When the game is when the game is all sorted, you'll be able to change all your suspension and all your chassis components and all of that kind of thing. At the moment, though, you can kind of just do this and wibble and wobble and move bits about. Um, it's kind of cool. It's not the most sophisticated of um, <laughs> what's the word for it? Kind of customization. Customization stuff, I guess, is fairly fairly straightforward. I mean, you just move these bits here forward and backwards, but it is cool. It is it's nice. It's easy to get the hang of. It's not like blowing Gary's mod that takes you forever to try and build a vaguely go kartish thing that flies around. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. I don't think I can't remember having played a game that is anything like this really. And I'm, I'm trying to rack my brains. Is there any game which I've actually been able to design a car? Um, I don't think so. I really can't think of any game that uh, allows you to design your own car from scratch and design your own engine. We'll get to the engines in a little while. And, um, it does seem fairly simplistic. I think I might be missing something when it comes to the building of cars on here. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't played this for a while. There might be features that I'm missing. And so, yeah, I apologise to people who know what they're doing and who are shouting at me. So now I've got the, the overall, the basic sort of body shape sorted. Uh, then I come on to the fixtures. I can't scroll down there. Uh, so if we go headlights, if we wanted to put them there for... Oh, no, wait, not there. Where can we put them? Oh, uh how? -huh, we can put them there. For example, we have some headlights. Don't worry, they're, they're rubbish. Um... What do we want? Uh, these, 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 well, these will do. Oh, can we have? Ooh, can we have? <laughs> um, yeah. Is well, why can't I not put the? Can we not have? Well, I don't think we can. We can't have pop-up headlights. I don't think. Uh, and if we have them there, does that look? Yeah, it kind of looks sort of sporty-ish. Kind of, maybe. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just pressing buttons and hoping that something looks vaguely carish at the end of it. Uh, and I also recognise these headlights, and I can't tell you what blooming cars they're from. So sorry about that. People who are inevitably angry at me not recognising what these are. You have various options uh, um, <laughs> of resizing them, moving about. Again, it's not the most in depth uh, customization I've ever seen in a game, but it's not bad. I can't, as I said, I can't think of any car vehicle building game that uh, is really comes close to this. Yeah, I'm, no, I was still trying to wrap my brains and can't come up with it. Yeah, no, that's close enough. That'll do. Uh, grills, yes, this is an important part of the car. Um, <laughs> shall we make it a smiley happy car? <laughs> yes, you shall be a happy car. There we go. You can have that there. And can we give it a nose? Can we? Uh, well, this doesn't really have space. It's going to be a Voldemort car. Um, Bonnet, what do you do? I don't know what you do. 
Let's go. Oh, you like a bonnet scoop thing. Wrong one. No, okay, that's not going to work either. How do we get you to... Can we have you take up the entire bonnet? Probably. And... No. Well, there we go. It's, it's got a sort of a slightly raised bonnet. There's all of these... Oh, I don't want badges. There's all of these kind of things that you can put on it that I really don't know what I'm doing, and I'm making it everything up as I go along. What do you do? You're like a rear diffuser -y sort of... Yeah, sure. Now, why not? Oh, exhausts! They're quite important on a car, I seem to remember. And uh, you can go there. Um, sure, why not? We'll go for four exhausts. Again, you can get rid of them. You can have just two, if you fancy just two. We'll have four on this. Um, yeah, it's it's quite detailed. It's kind of cool. It's a little bit it's a little bit simplistic. It's just kind of drag and drop. But that's not that's not too bad. I mean, it means everybody can do it. You don't have to be massively clever with computery skills to be able to play this, which is always a good thing. And we can have... Oh, there we go. Perfect. You can have a have a number plate bit um, <laughs> there. We've got to have one on the back as well. Ah, the car is coming out <laughs> nicely. It does look very much like a face from the front. Fantastic. Oh, door handles. You need a way to get into the car, don't you? And oh, there. Diddy door handles. Make them a little bit bigger. There we go. You can go on there. And I'd say my car is almost done, if I missed anything. No, I think we are pretty good. So there we go, that's the that's the car, the car buildery bit. Test and stats, I don't know, it doesn't that's not been implemented um, as of yet. But we'll save you, uh, we'll just save you as car. Yes, you shall be saved as car. The the cosmetic design of the actual body design and that kind of thing is still fairly early in development, I would presume. There's not a huge I'm assuming there's gonna be more sort of body styles, maybe pickup trucks. Who knows? But uh, it's, it's kind of cool just to play play around with that at the moment. Now what we're going to move on to next is the engine, the engine designer. I'm going to do some of the scenarios so we actually have a, a sort of challenge. Now, I'm going to start by stating if you are the sort of person who is going to be very annoyed when I get things a little bit wrong, um, because this, this will be quite technical, if you are going to be very angry at me doing something silly, which is kind of inevitable uh, with these engines and not really know what I'm doing, then please just go away. Um, I know a little bit about engines, but I'm not massively technically minded uh, when it comes to these things, so I will just be pressing buttons randomly and hoping that the thing works at the end. So don't be too angry at me when I fluff everything up is basically what I'm saying here. Uh, you can see, I, when I started recording this game, however however long ago it was, I hadn't completed any of these scenarios. This, all of the scenarios that are done here are me trying to record for <laughs> blooming uh, videos. Anyway, we'll go do some tutorial engines because these should be nice and easy. I hope. I really do hope. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll jump right into this. What are we going to do? You have just had the design for a new sports car engine. Hey! Uh, ready when your project got scrapped. Oh, that's, that's not good. Uh, too wild and not green enough. Ah, what's the fun in that? Uh, so now you're supposed to blueprint an engine for a stupid little city car. Indeed, that is a very stupid idea. I want to be building the engines for sports cars. Um, after wallowing in anger and sadness for a while, this is being written for me, I think. You wonder what would be even better, a tiny high-performance V8 or maybe a... No uh, why are you asking me this question? The V8 will win. This end of story. Uh, so we're going to go and build a V8. Um... <laughs> What have we got to do? We got where well, we want a V. We want a V8. There we go. What are the so these are the, uh, the specifications that we've got to try and have this engine match to. So uh, uh, there's these are the, the the limitations of what we can what we can build. So it has to weigh less than that. There are no special manufacturer requirements. That has to be has to be a small engine. Has to run on premium unleaded fuel, and that's the year it's made. I presume that'll affect in the future at least what options you have available to you. Uh, at the time. Specifications must have more than 67 horsepower. I would hope I can get that out of a V8. Otherwise I'm not very good engineer. Don't know what that means. Uh, but it has to be higher than that. Economy has to be less than some numbers and smoothness has to be m equal or more than a number and it has to cost less than some numbers as well. Basically I'm making this to some numbers. Right, so we need the engine to be light. It also ooh, it needs to be cheap as well. Uh, and I don't know, what's that? Uh, alloy of aluminium and silicone. What weighs less? Uh, that, but it's quite expensive. So let's go for aluminium. We know we're going to have. Oh, no, that's yes. We want a ten liter V8. No, wait, we don't. Uh, <laughs> we want a Diddy V8. I'm not sure how how um, 
Um, how do I? I can't work out the damn size. Uh, we're just going to go with this. What I'm, what I'm going to do with this is just go for a kind of fairly standardized stuff and then see what happens at the end of it and see if that passes all the specifications. When it doesn't and when it breaks, then I'll go back and change what broke, hopefully. Um, all right, you've got all of your, your information up here on, on your stuff. Again, I'm presuming where it says there it requires stuff. That's for the single player campaign, -y, career -y, whatever the hell you want to call it. And things. I'm guessing you're going to have like a, a car company headquarters and you'll have to buy these extra things uh, to add on to it. But at the moment I can do what I want, which is fantastic. So we're going to have forge ones of them and we're going to have um, emissions reduction very high. That could be quite, quite useful because it does have to be... Does it have to have certain emissions? I'm not sure. Never mind, it can do that then. Right, so there we go. That's the that's the the bottom end, as it says on here. Uh, and then we've got you can choose. There's an awful lot of detail in the engines on here, and this is why I gave you all a warning about my uselessness of um, of this stuff, as it is very very detailed. Uh, we want a nice, efficient system, so we're going to go for that, and hope that this doesn't all weigh too much. Head material, we'll go for aluminium as well. Not sure what I'm doing with that stuff yet. I can't remember. I don't know enough technical details. We'll go for none of that at the moment. Uh, oh, colour. There we go. I do know what I'm doing with that. Orange. There we go. Uh, <laughs> do we need a turbo? No, we don't. We only need 67 horsepower. I uh, don't need any of you. We'll go for injectors to try and make it. Uh, can we afford that? Um, multi... Mm, I don't... Well, we'll go, for the, we'll go for all the good stuff and see if we run out of money. Uh, we, don't need, we don't need a race one as such. What is it running on? Premium unleaded. There we go. Uh, you can do stuff. Um... Go for a medium exhaust. Go for dual exhausts, of course. Go away, you. Catalytic converter. We should probably have one of them on it, as it needs to be economical. And we'll go for you and you, whatever. Um, and then we will test it, and it will break, and then I will know what I need to fix. Fingers crossed. Please don't blow up straight away and be a right embarrassment. Mm, this is going to get not very much horsepower. But it's got more than 67. Which is good. Which is always a good thing. Please say I passed first time. I'd be really happy if I've just clicked buttons and it has worked. Wait for it. No, it hasn't. Um, it's too heavy. And it's too big, I presume. Okay. We need to make engine little. Little engine. That's a one... <laughs> it's a one litre V8. Hmm. Now that might be small enough. How I don't know how little it actually needs to be. Um... Do, do, do. Can we have a 1.5? <laughs> I this is a little bit silly, I will be honest. Um, but never mind. It's, it's just these are the requirements that I have to beat. Uh, don't don't worry about my terrible mechanicalness. Uh, we've got enough horsepower. Yes, that's fine by me. And 85 horsepower. Is it small enough? That's the big question. Or are they still going to be angry at the uh, the big size? Okay, it's, it's light enough, but it's too big still. Does it say dimensions uh, size 318 by 2 so it is too... I'm not sure. I don't know what bit's too big. Is that bit too big? Can this... Ooh. Yeah, we'll do... Oh, good. Um, that can go down there. Uh, so if we make that tiny like that, it's... Uh, <laughs> we're going to try and build the world's smallest V8, I think. Uh, we can make that a little bit bigger, can't we? Uh, what about having a one litre? Uh, <laughs> oh dear, it is a diddy little V8. Um, now it's probably going to all break completely and not have anywhere near enough power. You see, this is why I think people might get annoyed at me for being useless. Uh, <laughs> is it small enough though? It's not powerful enough. I can sort that out later. Is it small enough to please the gods of the game? Please be small enough, otherwise I'm out of ideas. Uh, go away, I don't care. It is small enough. It is plenty small enough. We can make it a little bit bigger then. We can make it uh, 1.05. 1 well, can we get 1.1? And will that still be small enough? Uh, that's close enough. Uh, <laughs> basically, this game kind of boils down to press some buttons and hope things work. And you don't have to know anything about engines to enjoy this game, because you can just press buttons and something will work in the end. Although it does help to have mechanical knowledge when it comes to tinkering with these things, because if you know what you're doing, then you can do things a lot faster. Although I can figure it out in the end, eventually. 
Um, this is the most ridiculous of engines, I think, probably, ever. Um, it's, there's much redness uh, down here. I think it's, it's, it's still having it a little bit bigger. Get a little bit more. Uh, 1.2, maybe? Do, 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 do. There we go. That'll do. I'm only interested in the size requirements. Uh, now it's too big. Bugger it. Uh, come back. Go down by a couple of millimetres. Because I think I was only a little bit off. Skip. Yes! No. Look, you, why are you wrong? Look, it's... It's the... Hmm. Maybe just one more millimetre. There we go. Now are you happy? Game, please be happy. There we go. That's the size I can have it then. I can't have the engine any bigger than this. But I need more power. And I need more MTBF. I'm presuming that's how long the engine lasts. I don't know. I'm confused by that. I'm not sure how that one works. Never mind. So, we've, we've done that. Now what we want is to put you up some more and actually give us some more power hopefully fingers crossed mm, really hopefully fingers crossed uh, come on we we only need a little bit more power to actually complete this task uh, again i'm not doing this trying to make the absolute perfect engine for this scenario you can do there's there well, enough power thank God. there's plenty of scores like medals i guess you could call it that you can chase on here if that is what you want to do uh, try and get higher score to build like build the engine better so i'm now economy is less than so I'm all right on that I mean it's not great but it's good enough it's the this my job that I don't know what it is da -da -da -da. how do I fix you how do I is there a help button <laughs> oh hints and tips uh, increasing the quality setting will make parts of a section better no no I know all this stuff go away I want to know what that means and how do I sort it should I put a turbo no I'm not gonna put a turbo on it I'm not going to put a turbo no. <laughs> what can we do with you? I think it's going to make the engine too big, actually, if I start fitting turbos and everything. No, we, we would better not start fiddling with that. Uh, fuel system. Uh, I can't remember how to... I don't know what to do with that. How do I make that better? Um, do I have any odd parts that I could... Don't know. Uh, sure, let's just do that. I don't know what it does. Let's do it and see what happens. It's variable valve timing. But I don't know what that is, so I don't know what to change to make it work. Here we go. Let's do some things. And I've now managed to lose the top of a bit of my engine. Never mind, it's not important at the moment. And that's jiggered it up. Oh, and I think I need to have the engine higher revving for that to work, really. Did it improve that, though? That is the question. No, it did not. It's just sitting with six more kilometres to go until it's happy. Um, so that can go away. You don't need any of that. What's... Variable is that a variable valve lift? Maybe. I don't know what this does. Um, what does that do? Let's see what happens uh, in relation to this silly blooming thing. And here we go again. Are we going to have enough power? Can't I can't just skip you. And apparently not because it breaks the things. Now, okay, we can. Oh no, I don't want to go away. Uh, we can get rid of that. Where did it go? I messed it all up. And it, it is somewhere. I've lost the bloody thing. Uh, go away. Don't need you. You broke it. Um, <laughs> oh god. Now I'm I am struggling. What do I need to make that thing there work better? I got the no. Don't need need a race intake. Don't know. Uh, let's go for a better exhaust thing. Did I do I need a standard one? Um, let's go for a long. No, we don't really need that, do we? That's gonna make it expensive. And hopefully, okay. We're still within the budget. I think we're still within the size. We're still within the weight. That's all good. Some numbers are going up on the graph. Just, just skip that. And numbers have not gone up high enough. What is that? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, the numbers have gone up high enough. Thank. Uh, oh, there's the horsepower. I'm getting confused now. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm confuzzled. Anyway, <laughs> I give up. Uh, this is automation. I really do recommend this game. It's great, great fun. And I'm sure many people will be better at it than me. As I have no clue. Really, well, I should know a little bit. I just don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing here and why it's not working. But um, no, I really do recommend you give this game a go. It is 
what is it, $25, I think, uh, from the game's website. I'll put a link in the description. You can go and have a look. You can, I think there's a free demo you can have a go with. Uh, you can only, I don't know if you can build cars on the demo, like the actual body shape and stuff, but I think you can build some of the engines. If you like all of the technical, mechanical stuff, this is a great, great game. There's huge amounts of detail in it, as you saw. I can change everything. Uh, pretty much within this engine and the car builder is getting there it's still in the fairly fairly early stages I believe um, of development but yeah it's a good fun game I do recommend you give it a go you don't have to know about cars to enjoy this game there's plenty of tutorials around to explain what does what that I probably should pay more attention to and I might know what that means I'm sure everybody is going to be shouting at me and telling me what I'm doing wrong and what I should change to get this engine to work but um, either way, it's, it's still good fun. It's just good fun to mess about with with this kind of stuff. If you're interested in cars and everything, which if you're watching my channel, chances are you already are. So, yeah, there we go. That is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.